You've probably heard the story of Franklin's kite experiment. Lightning was said to travel down the string to the key. Then Franklin touched the key with his bare hand. But wouldn't that have killed him? To find out, they dug into his old biography. It said the kite was made of cedar and silk. The string was just regular hemp rope, and the key was gold-plated copper. Once everything was ready, the kite went up high. It soared more than a thousand meters into the sky. Even on a sunny day, friction with the wind creates static. The instruments confirmed it with clear readings. But when Kari touched the key, she felt nothing. So they brought in a 100,000 volt generator. They placed the kite right next to the machine. Then they soaked the string to make it more conductive. Once the generator started, they measured 15,000 volts near the kite. But the voltage reaching the key was still very low. Next, they connected the kite directly to the generator. This was to mimic a real lightning strike. The current was weak, but tiny sparks jumped from the key. That proved electricity could travel down the string. If you touched it, you'd feel a light shock. But how much voltage does it take to kill someone? To find out, they went to a power plant. This place could produce a million volts of power. They hooked the kite to the power line and hung the key where a dummy could touch it. They even attached a heart monitor to the dummy. If six amps passed through its heart, it meant death. Once everything was set, the machine unleashed 500,000 volts. The kite got struck again and again. Current rushed down the string to the key. Then it jumped straight to the dummy's hand. The power was enough to melt the dummy. And real lightning can reach a billion volts. So flying a kite in a thunderstorm would be suicide. The legend is most likely made up.